All right, all right, all right. So we're going to try to do the podcast. Oh, Jesus. This isn't a podcast. So what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, G-R-A-J-A-S-M-O. And I don't know if you can see, but I got my little microphone on. Hoping that uh, the audio will be a little bit better. I am driving, uh, and the audio tends to suck while I'm driving. So hopefully the microphone will make things a little bit better. Um, when I'm at work, I tend to listen to a lot of podcasts. And uh, for those of you who don't know what a podcast is, it's like uh, like a radio show. Um but it's, it's over the internet. Um, and I don't know why I'm explaining this. Listen, man, this is 2018. If you don't know what a podcast is, go crawl back under whatever rock you were under. <laughs> the only people who don't know what podcasts are uh, are people who probably still listen to the radio to get sports updates. Um, but for most of you, you know what a podcast is. You know, uh, one, one of the more popular podcasts is Joe Rogan Experience. You know, he sits down and he just talks and blah. Okay, so I listen to um, a lot of tech podcasts. Um, Pocket Now, Weekly, um, the uh, uh, Trevor Noah, uh, you know, Daily Show, Android Authority, all about Android, uh, Android Central. You know, I guess you could tell I'm an Android guy. Uh, but there's one that I listen to um, mainly because I'm waiting to get... Jeez. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, mainly because I'm waiting to get good advice um, uh, on, like, uh, uh, what am I thinking of? Waiting to get good advice on audio, you know, for tech products. Uh, one of the tips that I got, and I didn't even get this from him. I got this from uh, a whole nother um, YouTube channel, Think Media TV. They said start using a microphone when you record because it'll improve the audio. So hopefully, you know, their words their words hold true. Um, but this podcast that I'm listening to is the SGGQA, Some Gadget Guy, Question and Answer. Uh, and it's hosted by a guy named Juan Carlos Bagnell. Now, Juan Carlos Bagnell, you may know from... Uh, uh, the Pocket Now Weekly. Um, he used to he used to do that show with Jules Wong and Jaime Rivera, um, you know, and, and a few others. But he was uh, he he has since left the Pocket Now uh, crew, and uh, he's back to doing his own thing. I'm not hating on Juan Carlos at all, but I listen to his podcast and and some of the stuff that he says. It sounds almost like he's whining. So the reason why I say that, he, he uh, just put out um, uh, his most recent podcast. One of the things that the people wanted him to talk about was the uh, YouTube Rewind. And I was like, oh, wow, that's out already. And I didn't really see a lot of advertisements on it. So I decided to go ahead and watch it. Now, I had listened to what he said before I watched it. He was like, oh, Will Smith is all like, uh, you know, I'm Will Smith, uh. And I'm like, all right, man, like, yo, yo, stop trying to play Will Smith, yo. Like, like, cut that out. I like Will. A lot of people don't. They say, like, his movies are, you know, whatever. I like Will Smith. So, you come, you already coming at Will. All right, cool. I mean, you, you striking a nerve. Then I watched the YouTube Rewind. And listen, it is not as bad as he says it is. Um, it's a little cheesy, but it's supposed to be like, it's not going to be a vlog. It's not going to be real life looking stuff. It's going to be a uh, commercial style. It's going to be, you know, like, uh, highly scripted. So Will Smith starts it off. He said, Oh yeah. YouTube rewind, man. If I could you know, pick some stuff off of YouTube, I would want, and he lists a couple things. Then he does a, the Thanos snap so he snaps his fingers. And then it goes to uh, the uh, the flying bus the, the flying bus from Fortnite. And you see MKBHD. Uh, I think you see the guy Ninja from Fortnite. You see a couple of, you know other big YouTubers. I don't know them, so I really can't comment on. 
then uh, you know you see all the guys jump out the bus, and then there's uh, you know on the ground um, another YouTuber that I recognize was Liza, and they start talking about the different things that you know happened on YouTube. They talked about uh, Fortnite. They talked about uh, K-pop. Uh, what else they talk? They talk about like I, I didn't really pay attention. I was I was so upset that Juan had something negative to say that I barely even paid attention to what was actually happening in the video. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Juan, why are you such a hater? Like, yo, you're a real hater, man. Like, and it doesn't even make sense. Like, you're hating for no reason. There, there's, there's no need for you to hate that way. Like, you're such a big hater. And why? Why, dude? You know, what is YouTube? YouTube is your platform, dude. It, it, YouTube made you money. You know what I mean? They, 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 they put you on the map. Not now on the map, but like at least in my book, because I don't know who you are. I didn't know who you were before Pocket Now. But yo, he's so negative. He's such a hater. I'm sorry about that, that glare. But he's so negative and he's such a hater. And you just ask yourself, why, bro? Like, what's wrong with you, man? Why are you such a hater? You know, cut that out, man. You, it's not a good look, bro. You out here hating because somebody getting a shine. You know, you out here hating for for whatever reason, man. Like that's that's real corny. That's real corny. You know, don't don't do that, bro. And it's a shame because I like listening to him talk about tech. Because it's not a lot of people out there that, that sound good when they talk about tech. A lot of them have like that nerdy voice. And he's got a nice, clear voice. But some of the stuff that he says, like even the stuff he talks about with, um, uh, what's that stuff called? Net neutrality. You know, like there's a lot of input that I, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I don't have any insight on. So, you know, when I listen to his podcast, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I never thought of it that way. But bro, he was, he is a hater. I'm gonna continue listening to the rest of his podcast, but I just had to drop that, you know, drop that off to you guys. It's hot in this van. I had this big old heavy ass jacket on. It's cold outside, but with this jacket and the heat on, it was so hot. Let me get out here and go do some work because I just arrived at, uh, you know, my first stop. So, you know, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. All right, so I listened to a little bit more of Juan Carlos Bagnell uh, with the uh, Some Gadget Guy. Uh, podcast and to be honest he's not I understand his frustration with the uh, rewind um, but you know it is what it is um, outside of that the um, the rest of his podcast you know right on par with what you know I like about it he talks a lot about um, you know, net neutrality, how politicians are, you know, affecting uh, the current state of tech. It's crazy. It's crazy how, like, on point he is with a lot of his stuff. Uh, but one of the topics that he was bringing up was, like, the different phones. Now, if you listen to his podcast at all, if you if you know anything about Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy, um, he is a big LG fan. Uh, he's an LG fanboy. I guess you could call me a Samsung fanboy. I, I, I really like Samsung. Um, but one of the things that LG and Samsung currently have uh, is a headphone jack, which is how I'm able to plug the uh, the phone in with the microphone and um, and still be able to charge the phone at the same time. And he was saying that the LG phones, like the, the G20 and, and stuff like that, um, are great for audio, whether it be recording, whether it be uh, listening, because of uh, a component inside called the DAC. Uh, I believe it's uh, DAX or DAQ or DAK. I don't know. It, it's the, the the DAC. It's a part of the, the phone that deals with the headphone jack and the amplifier and all that other kind of good stuff. Um, so when I think about that, I'm like, oh, well, that's good because I have a Samsung phone and they still have, you know, the headphone jack. But all the other, you know, 
new phones, they don't have a headphone jack. And he also talked about how um, phones are being sold broken. Like, yeah, so let, let's let's take uh, the iPhone, for example. That's that's a big one that a lot of people don't realize. You're buying a broken phone. If you buy an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 7, you're buying a broken phone. So at one point, Apple had a charging port, a headphone uh, jack, uh, and a unibody metal device. Now the front was still, you know, glass, so the front was susceptible to falls and breaks and stuff like that. But now the back is glass, like with the iPhone 10, the back is glass, um, so it's less durable. There are less bezels, so there's less for you to hold on to. So the, those two things alone, you have to buy a separate device for those two things, right? A case. A lot of people buy a cell phone case, so you know helps with holding on to the phone. Well, why do I have to buy something that should be already there? You know, it, it was there before. You know, before the phones were a lot more durable. Now they're not. Um, let's take the headphone jack. There, the phones had headphone jacks. You could plug wired headphones in. Um, the phones, you know, used to be able to power, you know, some high-end Sennheiser, whatever. I could plug a microphone into a phone and uh, not worry about the Bluetooth latency uh, and things like that. And I would have high quality audio. Now, you can't. And that to me is, is a little, little disheartening. Um, especially with iPhone. It's like the, I think the base model iPhone is like a thousand bucks. Now you could get like the affordable one, which is like eight ninety nine or, or it's like seven hundred or eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, and it's as powerful as a phone from. Well, I'm sorry, not as powerful. The resolution uh, is as high as a phone from about four or five years ago. Um, the internal, like the chips and stuff, yeah, it's a very very fast phone, um, but. See, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because I was going to say something about the uh, the resolution and 1080 and all that other kind of stuff. But it's a cell phone. It's like five, six inches big. How clear do I really need it to be? You know, maybe they're onto something, but to charge as much as they do. See, I was hoping that iPhone would release the iPhone SE 2. The SE was like a budget version. And uh, at one point, you know, because... I know so many people with iOS. I was thinking about getting the iOS. I'm sorry, getting the uh, uh, the SE, right? But the SE, I think, is still like two two fifty, something like that, and it's like barely supported by anything. So for me, um, I don't know. It, it just would it wouldn't be a good fit. Because if I'm, if I'm spending $200 on a phone, you could get a um, the Honor 7X brand new. You could get the Honor Mate SE uh, or the Huawei SE. I don't know what it's called. You, you could get one of those phones for $200. You could get like a, 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 a Motorola phone for like $200. Uh, and honestly, for $300, you could, or uh, what was it, $300 or $350, something like that, you could get the Poco phone. You know, like, so... I don't know, man. Like, if Apple had released the iPhone XR, um, I'll say, I'll say six hundred bucks because it's a brand new phone. If you release a six hundred dollar phone, or even six fifty, you know, you don't want to be, you, you want the six to be in the number. You you release a phone for six fifty, brand new Apple phone. It's it's the uh, the more affordable iPhone. I'm telling you, people will lose their mind. You guys remember the uh, the iPhone C? Was it the 5C or whatever? People didn't buy it because you immediately knew that that was a cheap phone. Um, the iPhone cheap, that's why it was called. No, it's C stood for, I wanna say color, but 
I don't know. It, it was it was a cheap one. But this phone is a great phone. It's got great battery life. Um, like I said, you really don't notice the difference between uh, 1080 and, and Quad HD uh, when it's six six inches, you know, big. I don't know, man. They, they, they missed the ball. So I'm rambling on and on about tech. Um, but this has been most of my day, listening to podcasts, sitting in this truck. It's hot as hell in this damn truck. And I was going to roll the windows down. I turned the heat off already, but... This thing is a little oven. But yeah, it's, it's just another uneventful day. Just trying to keep up with the vlogs. Um, I watched a couple other vlogs. Um, Melly Sandra talked about, you know, celebrating Christmas and things like that. And uh, I think I might save that for tomorrow. But I really don't want to celebrate Christmas. And, um, the reason is is because of what Christmas has historically been for 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 my people and for you know the the uh, the just the historical remnants of Christmas. It's it's the memories that I have are great memories. I love waking up at twelve o'clock Christmas morning. You know, as soon as it turns Christmas Day, wake up and you go open up presents. But that's what it was. It was a day for presents, you know. Um, when I was young, they told us it was about Jesus' birthday. But if you actually, you know, read the Bible, his birthday wasn't in December. Um, and if you do, if you research history, the, the, the first uh, ruler of, of the world, the first, you know, major king um, who, was, who was actually African, um, came out of the land of Kush. He went by the name of Nimrod. He uh, started the, the, the city of uh, Babylon. He built the Tower of Babel. Um, his birthday was December 25th. Uh, so when you celebrate Christmas and the birth of of this demigod, or, or you, you say that it's Jesus' birthday, the demigod that you're celebrating was a man, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, what do they call it? Uh, not a man among men, but like, like he was, he was like the ultra man. He was the alpha male, you know, the, the definition of alpha male. He was, he was Nimrod. He was the greatest. And, uh, so you're celebrating his birthday and a lot of people don't know that. And a lot of people don't want to know, you know, a lot of people are just like, oh, well, whatever, you know, I don't care. Just do your thing. I'm going I'm to eat candy canes and bake pies and, and have a big family dinner. And that's cool. I have no problem with that. You know, I'm not, I'm not coming at anything. But I, I mean, I'm coming at you know the the history, uh, the history of it. I mean, it, it started in Rome as Saturnalia, and uh, Saturnalia was so wild and crazy it got outlawed. And then after, uh, you know, they they killed the the, the guy Jesus, uh, you know, and that's the thing. It, it's all a belief system. If you don't believe. In Christianity, you don't believe in Christ, you don't believe uh, in Jesus, and you think that uh, it didn't happen the way that the, that the Bible writes it, well then Christmas isn't anything more than just a season of giving, a season of gifts. And that's cool, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I asked uh, you know, a couple friends of mine, what did they think, you know, what should be our major holiday? You know, especially as black Americans, what should be our major holiday? We came up and we said Juneteenth. Juneteenth has real historical value. Juneteenth is a day that the slaves were free in 1856, uh, June 19th. And uh, I said, well, that's cool for blacks in America, but sometimes, uh, especially here in America, you can't just focus in on blacks. Just like Cinco de Mayo, that's you know the Mexican Independence Day. Um, but everybody celebrates Cinco de Mayo. Um, and it's just funny that we don't, uh, uh, every, like, you know, we celebrate all these other days. Okay, so Black History Month. There isn't a Black History Day. There isn't a day that recognizes, you know, the struggles and the, and people say, well, it's an entire month. Yeah, but there's no holiday. You know, there, it's not like, 
like Juneteenth, I'm taking off from work. I think I already put put in a request for it um, because that is a, is a big deal. And a lot of people don't understand that Juneteenth has the ability to be the day of peace. You know, right now, you could say that there is a lot of tension in America, you know, between race, uh, between gender, between, you know, all. listen, we need to use not we need to use Juneteenth as not only, um, you know, the black independence, you know, when, when uh, you know, slavery was abolished, but we need to use Juneteenth as a symbol of peace, a symbol of um, unity, you know, within the country. It needs to be the United States Day when we are when we were all united. Um, and uh, this Juneteenth, you know, that's that's what I'm looking to do. Um, for me, it's, it's going to be a big celebration. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I really want to raise awareness for it. So, I don't know. You guys tell me, what should I do to raise awareness about Juneteenth? And how can we make it an actual thing? You know, not just something that, that black people talk about at the barbershop, but an actual thing where people all over uh, the country recognize it. You know, because... Like I said, we recognize St. Patrick's Day. We recognize um, uh, Cinco de Mayo. We recognize Chinese New Year. I never hear anything about Juneteenth. And uh, as blacks being, I don't say one of the first, but blacks being one of the, 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 the oldest groups of minorities here in the United States, since, since the United States have been the United States, uh, the 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 oldest racial group outside of the natives um, is African American, and I hate to even call it a minority group because um, in the early days, blacks were actually the majority uh, because there were so many slave owners. I'm sorry, because there were so many slaves per slave owner, uh, the blacks were actually the the majority, but they didn't have the majority rule they didn't have the power to back it up so uh, i'm rambling on and on and on i'm sorry this video is so long uh but it's just something i want to get off my chest so down below comment how to make juneteenth um something that could be celebrated across the country and i know that there's a lot of black people who are going to say this is something we need to keep for ourselves and that's cool but you know, we can't keep nothing for ourselves. I mean, I don't know if you saw the, you know, Marcy's Projects, gentrification. They're going to try to take it. If they're going to take something, take this, you know. Take, take, uh, take the day of peace, you know, the day of unity. Juneteenth, you know, the day of equality. Uh, you know, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, please. We got to grow this channel. Uh, in 2019, uh, I would like, I would love to be able to hit 500. Um, or yeah, listen, 2019, if we could get to a thousand, oh boy, get to a thousand. Now, nah, but 2019, I want to hit 500. We got, we got to hit 500. It took me, how long have I been on YouTube? 10 years to get to 300. Um, that's because I was just throwing out videos. I wasn't actually making content for YouTube. It was just like, oh yeah, let me just make up a video. Sometimes I would do work. Uh, okay, listen, I'm getting off topic. Damn, damn, look at y'all. Y'all got me up here rambling. All right, I'm all done. It's a long vlog, but um, well, what was I gonna say? So leave a comment. Thank you for subscribing. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, share it if you think that it's gonna be helpful. Um, and let's uh, let's try to you know come up with a way to promote unity, equality, and peace. Because that's the only way we're gonna grow. If we got enemies somewhere else, all right, that's cool. But you can't be having an enemy at your own house. All right. It's your boy G R A J S M O, and I'm at. Way, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing like it. Yeah.
It ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gonna shine, but it's never enough.